Cold weather training is one of those often overlooked forms of training, mostly because no one wants to do it. It's uncomfortable, and it's more difficult than training to endure heat. Heat loss occurs rapidly in humans, and the body has difficulty maintaining internal temperatures under cold weather conditions. If the body drops below 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or 35 Celsius for those of you across the pond, hypothermia can develop, the onset of which is fatigue, confusion, involuntary muscle contractions by way of shivering and slurred speech, not good for survival situations. Another obvious hazard is frostbite, which can be extremely dangerous and result in amputations. So here are a few suggestions on how you may help yourself get acclimated to cold weather conditions in no particular order. Number one, when in the cold, breathe through your nose, not your mouth. Breathing through your mouth will result in the loss of extra heat from the body. Also, additional moisture will be lost due to the dry air absorbing it from your breath. Keep your mouth closed. Number two, fitness. The more physically fit you are, the better you will be able to maintain core temperatures through metabolic heat production. If you are not in very good physical shape, the heat loss will be more rapid because you will have difficulty maintaining your core temperature. And no, being overweight or being particularly large will not help you here, despite popular belief. Number three, clothing. Learn how to dress for cold weather and also how to pace yourself to balance your temperature with the clothing that you are wearing. Layer yourself with loose fitting clothes and be sure to cover your neck and ears. Make sure you stay dry, particularly socks, gloves, and head coverings. As your body temperature rises, you can remove items to prevent sweating. This is why you often see skiers, hikers, and climbers in the snow and in other cold weather areas with very little clothing on. They have balanced between their core temperature and their clothing. Number four, cold showers. This is one that I do quite a bit. You can adjust yourself to the shock of cold exposure by taking cold showers. This is the reason why the warden of Alcatraz prison made sure the showers were always piping hot. He didn't want anyone to be able to adjust to the frigid waters surrounding the island and simply swim away. Number five, expose yourself to the cold. Work out, run, jog, take walks in the cold, and learn to pace yourself. Get used to that cold feeling under controlled conditions so that it doesn't shock you when you're exposed to it. Same as with the shower suggestion. If you don't get out there and expose yourself to it and do it, you're never going to get used to it. And you just knew I had one more for you, didn't you? Call it number six if you will. Know the difference between comfort and necessity. Most of the time when we expose ourselves to heat or dress ourselves on a cold day, we are thinking more along the lines of comfort than necessity. Is it really that cold? Do you really need two sweaters? You can be amazingly comfortable in a cold environment when you're accustomed to it. I hope you found this list helpful. Please train safely if you are interested in any of the suggestions. If you have any additional suggestions, please feel free to post them in the comments section down below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, hit the bell icon and check out some of the other videos. You may find something helpful to you. I hope that you do. So that being said, stay frosty folks, and thanks for watching.